Hello everyone, welcome to Onuba Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a 3D glossy logo and text reveal in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, make sure to add a logo to work with in your comp. And as you see here, I have a background here, just a gradient ramp applied to it and a logo comp here. So make sure your logo is bigger enough and the comp uh, is also big. So let's back to our main composition here. So the idea here first, we want to create a nice uh, revealing for this logo. So we're just going to use here a mask. So I'm going basically to animate this mask here. So I'm going to add a keyframe here. And as you see, I have uh, 20 seconds on my comp. So just make sure you have enough duration on your comp for this logo animation so basically i would get something like this straightforward and easy to make so let's easy ease these keyframes and then we are going to pre-compose this and let's rename this logo animation and make sure to move all attributes and hit ok so now we're going to enable the 3d in this layer so as you see nothing changed and now we want to make these as uh to have some extrusion on it so hold alt and click on stopwatch and then type position plus open bracket zero comma zero comma z equal z close bracket and basically this z is going to be the variable that we're going to use here so z equal open parentheses index minus one and close the parentheses so uh, when we duplicate basically this comp the first one is going to be zero and the second one is one so the index which is two minus one is one so the z return the value one here so uh, we want to actually control these uh, z depth so we're going to create a new null object and let's rename this controller and then add slider control and let's rename this extrude and go back here to our expression and we want to multiply this by this slider here so the value here now it's going to be zero because our slider is set to zero if we put that to one we go, we're going to get one here because two minus one is one multiply that by one is going to give us one if we go to two and so on but we're going to put that to 0.5 and then we're going to duplicate this few times so maybe 20 duplicates and so as you see here we have this 9.5 now for the last one so let's change here the custom view and so we can see what we created here you would see uh, depth on that as you see here that's nice so basically that's what we got here okay so now going back to our logo and we want to make it interesting here so we're going to make this logo have some reflections on it so we're going to create a new solid let's rename these reflections and hit ok and we're going to apply cell patterns and choose here plates hq and make the size of it a little bit bigger so maybe around 300 and make the sharpness higher value so we get a nice sharp edge on this uh, map here nothing animated so we're going to make it animating so we're going to add expression here on the evolution so hold alt and click on stopwatch and then type times times 20 so we're going to get something like this and you see that's the color also changed here so maybe we want to have a different grayscale here so we're going to add levels so we can control that 
So maybe something like this, and we're going to pre-compose this, move all attributes, and let's this to be reflections, and we're going to duplicate our logo here and put it above reflections, and we're going to use it use it as alpha map. So now basically we have something like this, as you see, that's uh, animating there. And let's put it back here and maybe here we're going to use it as add. So it's on top of the original logo, as you see here. And then we're going to add another HDR image here just to add a few details. So we're going to duplicate this logo again and do the same thing, use this HDRE as alpha map and basically you can't see anything except that changes but we wanted that to be animating as well so we're going to animate in the position here so we're going to animate just like this just on the x axis so something basically just like this and we're going to put this to add and maybe just overlay or soft light. So it's add enough uh, reflections there. So we got something like this. And then we'll go back here to our comp here. So basically here, you would see that when we add the the reflections, you would see the edges had some uh, like jagged look in here. So that's because we got the reflection applied to them as well. If you don't want them, you just need to have the reflections just on the top one. So now we got our first extrusion here. So what we're going to do is duplicate the last one, Control D, let's change the color to red. And then we're going to reveal this uh, this comp on here. So uh, we're going to duplicate it on the project, and then Alt Alt, and we're going to replace it with this one. So now we can actually change the logo look here. So just add in fill. Maybe we're going to leave that as red here for now, and you would see that we got two different colors so we're going to do the same thing for the second duplicate so we're going to duplicate this red comp few times as well as you see here so both of them they are going to be on place so let's see them together here so as you see now we have them both So we're going to do the same thing, Control D, let's change here the color to yellow and then reveal this in source projects, Control D and then replace it here and then open the comp so we can change the color to something different. So maybe I'm going to choose here a green color and then we're going back to our comp and keep duplicating, doing the same process like we did before. So maybe I'm going actually to choose different color than green. I believe gray will look better than this. And so on the controller here, we want to add a bevel alpha and then we're going to edit and copy with property links. And then we're going to copy these and, and then we're going to paste these on all of those layers except the top one. So for example, this one and also the top one for the second color here. We want only that to be affected by the rest. So Control V to paste that. And you see the logo changed a little bit and that because the bevel alpha so we can change the light intensity from our controller and it's going to change the look. Also the direction here, just like creating a fake lights and 
change the bevel there. So here on the controller, we're going to add exposure and let's name this exposure face. Doing the same thing, going to copy these with property links and this time only with the top ones, only the face one here. Control V and we can change here the exposure to 1.5 or whatever depends on how bright you want that. So maybe just 0.5 and then add in another exposure and this time it's going to be for sides and copy with property links. So we're going to select all these except the top ones, the ones that they already have exposure. We don't need them and control V to paste that. And now this is going to be a negative value. So 0 0.5, you see that we got a nice darker sides here. So maybe minus 1.5, minus 1.5 something like this and so now we have almost all this setup so we want to make these looks interesting so what we can do here we are going to stagger these ones so for example this is the first one so after every five frames the second one is going to show up And the same for the, the last one. So one, two, three, four, five frames. That's six maybe, so just something like this. And so we're basically going to get something like this, like the animation staggering, just like that. Let's actually preview this. So basically something like this. And so now we can basically just add shadow for the last one here. Let's add a drop shadow and let's show only the shadow here and maybe going to have 50% softness there. Maybe for the one above it going to add shadow as well we don't need distance zero maybe 80 this time and basically your position for this one uh, this one needs to be 3d as well so when we add the camera here so going to add the camera and position for this is set to zero so we need to check the position for the last one so it's 26 so this is going to be 27 and then the background is going to be into place and so now we can start animating our camera here and get a very nice angles and just make the comp, uh, the background bigger to cover and add background behind that if we need to. So basically, I already have here a few camera takes. So let's delete this one and turn back these ones. So basically here, just uh, normal animations here for the camera. So let's preview and see how this looks like.
So as you see in this preview, the animation looks fine and it needs a little bit adjustment on the camera. But the most important things we need to do here is stylize the look of this animation. So we're going to start color grading this and add some effects to make it look better. So we're going to create adjustment layer, control alt y to create adjustment layer. And then we're going to apply box blur here and let's put there 10 and repeat edges and you will see that it's blur everything here so we're going to use mask and start masking here things we don't want it to be in focus so just going to make here random mask so here this is going to be something like this and basically we're going to hit mm and then mask feather we're going to put that to be just 200 on both and then we're going to trim these to where the cats or takes of the camera so control shift d while i'm selecting these layers so just going to trim that exactly to the same camera so now we have different angles and now we can change here basically where we want the blur to be so just something like this basically and same for this one so maybe this one needs to be here You can even animate that if you want to. So we're just going to put it this way just to give you an idea of how to make these. And maybe the last one here, we hit T for opacity and then animating that to zero. So we're going to get something like this. So this is going to be our depth of field. And and then we're going to add another adjustment layer and this one is going to be let's put this the letter just put it above here and so this one going to be color correction so we can add levels and we can change that and add curve as well so basically you can see the changes because actually things start slowing down a little bit. So here we can just make a uh, curve and maybe change something to blue a little bit. And just by adding lights overlay on top of everything and noise effect is going to help to blend and polish the look of the animation. And if you need here to do any adjustment to the logo, you can just create a new null object. And let's rename this to 3D logo and make this 3D. And basically all these duplicates are going to link them to or parent them to that 3D logo null object. And so just from the null, now we can basically easily change our logo easily where we want it to be and so on so this was the tutorial of today hope it was very useful for you guys and if you have any question just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching